the protesters who brandished placards took over the two lanes of the busy airport road. Vehicles were held up for several hours while others made U-turn to take alternative routes. In an interview, some of the protesters said they were not happy that Edo State has no NDDC commissioner. They said the situation has denied the people of Edo State the opportunity to derive maximum benefits from the commission. We have been on street for the past three months demanding for the appointment of NDDC commissioner by President Jonathan. Up to now, nothing has been done. As we speak, nothing has been done to meet our demand. Three weeks ago, we gave an ultimatum that non appointment of NDC commissioner by the federal government who shut down all federal government press down all oppressions of federal government in Edo State. And that's exactly what we're doing. Some time ago, we led a protest that we gave the president 21 days ultimatum to appoint the NDC commissioner of this state. And at the expiration of that ultimatum, we are yet to see his response. Today, we are out to tell him that we are serious about the appointment of NDC commissioner because all NDC project is now lying down. Our benefit as far as NDC is concerned is no longer coming. The Edo State Deputy Commissioner of Police Operations, Kenneth Abramson, had hectic time persuading the protesters to make way for free flow of traffic. The protesters who said they have been on the streets for three months vowed to continue the protest until their demands are met by the federal government. Pius Nsogo reporting.